Hey guys it's ARG99 here, and I am back with another interesting tutorial. In this video I am going to tell you about the slider control effect. This is going to be a very quick and easy tutorial, so be with me till the end of this video. With that being said, let's get straight into After Effects. First we will set up a new composition. I have kept the resolution to 1920 into 1080, which is the HD resolution. I am gonna keep the FPS to 60, and will choose 15 seconds as the duration of this animation. Once everything is set, click on OK and finalize the composition. Now we need some numbers for this animation. So click on the horizontal type tool option and type some numbers. Once done, align it to the center of the screen using the align option. I have used the Digital 7 regular font for this animation, and I have set the size to 400 pixels. Now to begin with the animation, at first go to the Effects and Presets panel, and search for Slider Control Effect. Then drag this Slider Control Effect, and place it on the text layer. Now comes the main part, click on this arrow beside the text layer to open up the drop-down menu. Now open up the drop-down menu, for both the text, and the effects option. Now within text, you will find this source text option, press and hold alt key on the keyboard, and then press on this stopwatch icon beside source text. Your text will disappear and a warning message like this will pop up. But don't worry, because we are on the right track. Now come down below, to the effects option, you will find the slider control option below it, open the drop down menu for slider control, and then you will find this option named as slider. Now go up to the source text option, then click and drag this pick whip and connect it with the slider option. Now if you drag and change the values in the slider option, then you will also see, that the number values on your screen are also changing according to the slider value. I will set it to zero, because I want my number counter, or the animation to start from zero. Now we are going to set our initial keyframes, so make sure that your current time indicator is at the starting of the timeline. Now click on this stopwatch icon beside slider option, this will set your first keyframe. Then drag your current time indicator up to a particular duration on the timeline, where you want your animation to end, then drag and change the value of slider to 100. This will set your last keyframe, and you can see that your animation is almost done, but you will see all these decimal places appearing at the back. But don't worry we will use a simple expression to solve this problem. To use the expression scroll up on the timeline, and beside expression source text, you will find this expression already present over there. All you have to do is place your cursor at the end of the expression, and type a new one, dot value, dot, to fixed, and then open parentheses, and close parentheses. Make sure that the letter F is capital and fixed. I will also provide this expression in the description below. The value, which you will put in between the parentheses, will determine the number of decimal places you want, after your number. For example if you put 2 in between the parentheses, then it will give you 2 decimal places. So it depends upon the value you put in between the parentheses. For this one I am going to remove all decimal places, so I am going to put 0, and you can see that the decimal places are gone now. Your animation is almost complete. Now I will explain you how to add any text or symbol before the animated number. For this animation I want to add amount equals to before the number. So for that place your cursor at the starting of the expression and then within quotations type down amount equals to quotation closed then plus sign and after plus leave one space gap. Then click on the text layer to activate the expression. You can see that the amount equals to has been added. You can also, add signs using this same method, for example here you can see I have kept the dollar sign in quotations, and rest of the expression is same. Type this expression behind the original expression to add things behind the numbers, the procedure is same. Now we have to add changing colors to the animation. It's easy too. All you have to do is, go to this animate option beside text, and select fill color, and then RGB. Now drag your current time indicator to the starting of the timeline, click on the stopwatch icon beside fill color to set a initial color keyframe. I will set the initial color to white, then I will drag the current time indicator to the part of the timeline, where I want my color to change. 
I would like it to change from white to green, so this time, I will select green color. This will automatically set the final color keyframe. Now we are all done, you can click on preview to view your animation. I have added a digital counter sound effect to make the animation more cool, you can try it out too. Hope this video will help you, let me know down in the comments if you need any help. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, and consider subscribing to my channel if you like my content.